Okay, this is a tutorial on how to use XPadder for the computer, obviously for the computer to to play games like COD World at War and COD 4 with a 360 controller instead of using the keyboard and mouse which is sometimes hard and annoying. So first you need XPadder and you need to open it. And it'll have this and it'll just say this which means that you don't have a 360 controller connected. Now you can connect a controller by a wireless adapter for the 360 controller or you can use a wired controller. It doesn't work with the play and charge kit though. Now, see, I just turned on my controller then and that automatically comes up. I'm gonna completely create do it from the beginning. Okay. So, what you do is, I've got the template, I've got this here, but I'll just do a, do a new one. Okay, so, you want to do sticks. Press enabled. And on left stick, you press left and up. Left and up for the right as well. D-pad. Enable it. Up on D-pad, down, left, right. Buttons. Okay. <coughs> what you want to do is A, B, X, Y. Put them around here. This is just a rough doing it. Like right there. This is when I'm pressing the buttons when I'm doing everything. Okay, triggers. Enabled. Left trigger, right trigger. So when I press left trigger, that'll come up. Right trigger. Buttons again. So you want to do left bumper. Right bumper. Start button. Back button. Then inside the inside the, these sticks that button which will move that was the right so put it in there left we'll put that in there I can't think of any the guide button doesn't work yeah okay so you got that and then you come up with this when you do this so then you assign them all so for like Call of Duty so Right trigger, which is what I just clicked, would be the left mouse button, which will say up the top here when you go over something. So left mouse button. So if yeah, do that and then aim down sight. That would be escape. This is all for this is all for Call of Duty. Tab. Wait, no, that was wrong. Uh -huh. Um, no, that would be grenade. That would be four. This is this. That's scores. The pause. Don't worry about that. Okay. So this is what you do with your mouse. So looking up, down, right. And left. So now, this is me using the 360 controller to control this. If, as you can see, it goes up and down when I click it, left and right. And so if I press the, yeah, if I press the right trigger by like double tap new folder, it'll come up. Right click, right trigger over here so you can see where it's doing it okay this one will be w s a d you just do that with all the controls and then what you can also do is you click on this and put this text in the bottom you can go right right trigger 
exit it and you can yeah see it says right trigger so if you go into this and settings if I move it over here and go X right trigger now what okay yeah with this there'll be A for space R for reload okay <clears throat> with X on the 360 it can do like opening doors and also reloading which do is for do both of them and F is also the like function key thing so you do here you're in there F so it does it for both so yeah, and you do that and you save them and I'll just open up mine as an example Probably got some of them wrong. So these are the ones that I've made. I've even made one for Minecraft. So let's open up Code Four. Do not save. This is all the stuff for Code Four. Escape tab. See. So if you go into here and you click that, that's me pressing A on the 360 controller. W C D There you go. That's basically how you do it now. Then you start up your game. Yes, I can't do it with this screen recorder, but you start up your game and it will come up with it and then you just do this and if you think you get got it wrong just go into the controls and like configure X pattern again so yeah how you do it will come up down here for Windows 7 but to how you edit them is you go into it like this and you go settings oh wait I don't know how oh no with these ones you just do that I mean with this one you do settings and that's how you move them around and stuff. Um, properties, just basically using the triggers and crap. Ah, oh, what you can do is you click on this, like this is the right trigger. You can go advanced and turbo. So basically, if you go enable, that's the normal fire rate. You can change it to a lot slower till till it's super slow or super super fast. So basically, like a modded controller for the Xbox. Yep. And you can also assign it to none, which means it clears what you've done if you've made a mistake. And yeah. That's basically it. Oh yeah, press ABC to change it from normal on that. I think I made one with that one more for two template. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, I've done all that. And it just works like it's a 360 controller. Um, <coughs> I'll add um, I'll put a link to it in the description for the download of of um this which has this and this in it these two so you can download them I'll put a link in the description for all these as well just so just so that you can do them if you want change them around and whatever and yeah see ya